we're in the grip of an ideology though that refuses mm -hmm. to see the truth yeah and doesn't want to submit to it yeah and so the answer it's money yeah talk, prayer talk then talk more about that well i mean you're looking at a multi-million dollar industry every single year in the few years is going to be in the, in the billions because like let's say i want to transition to female and i have an orchiectomy orchiectomy is the removal of your testes it's, it's a castration okay now i don't have the natural pr production of testosterone in my body any anymore five years later i realized that was not the best decision but now i don't have testosterone so now i have to become a lifetime medicalization patient of testosterone even though i've detransitioned just to try to feel normal as a man again and so even if i detransition i still need the synthetic hormones but if i do want to transition to female then i'm going to need testosterone blockers and estrogen supplements again lifelong medicalization of this stuff i mean the surgeries for for a man to have a, a, for a female to have a phalloplasty. I mean, remember the article of Gabriel Mack that you had talked about of that woman who had went through this surgery. I think it was in the New York, uh, one of the New York magazines where it talks yes. about the surgery and all that just heartbreaking. Those surgeries can cost anywhere from 40 to a hundred thousand dollars a surgery. And typically the first one's not successful. There needs to be multiple surgeries, sometimes a dozen or more, because sometimes the appendage will die and they need to try again. They've got to harvest tissue. I mean, they take a sleep of skin from either your entire format form or graft from your thigh and they use that the fashion of a new a neo phallus and a lot of times it doesn't work and it it, it physically dies Gosh. and then more sutures and more pain you know it's it's, it's, a, it's a it's a horrible thing to have to physically go through but to me it should spur a bit of compassion of like wow what would drive a person to endure so much suffering just to try to feel at their, is, own, yeah. their home body at their yeah. own body and so like these people are masochistic crazy people no no, no stop it like there's something going on here there's a story that needs to be listened to of what would drive a person to experience that much suffering but the cost mm. of these things 100 grand you know potentially in one surgery lifelong medicalization i mean there's a major windfall to be had by these pharmaceutical companies big pharma but what they will listen to is their shareholders because if the lawsuits start flooding in which they're now starting to the investors are going to realize okay where's the tipping point you know where are the lawsuits going to outweigh the revenue that's coming in and at that point we're out and at that point we don't need to be doing these procedures anymore at our hospital that's what we're gonna they're gonna listen to. they're not gonna listen to my book they're not gonna listen to you know you know documentary videos or whatever for the most part but when you get enough public awareness and people detransitioning starting lawsuits to me i think they're gonna listen to where the money goes Hey, thanks for watching that clip. Would you like this beautiful, very high quality, definitely not made in China, not that there's anything wrong with that, pints with Aquinas beer stein for free, sent to your door? Would you also like a copy of The Jill sent to your door four times a year? This is the Pints with Aquinas newspaper, by the way. If you do, go to mattfrad.locals.com and become an annual supporter for any amount. We'll send you that stuff for free and you get a bunch of other free things in return. You'll get more information by going over to mattfrad.locals.com. Thanks.